Good afternoon and welcome to Mid-American Nazarene University and Williams Field, home of Pioneer Softball. Today's doubleheader is a Heart of America Conference matchup between the Park University Pirates and the MNU Pioneers. Let's meet today's starters. First for the Pirates, coached by Lindsey Derry in her eighth season and assisted by Steve Tingler and Alyssa Marit, uh, Ramirez. Leading off in center field, number 17, Caroline Ripper. Batting second, playing shortstop, number one, Hallie McGee. Batting third, playing second base, number 23, Shelby Sanders. Batting fourth and catching, number 13, Cal Day. Batting fifth, at first base, number 21, Chloe Gilbert. Batting six, the designated player, number five, Naya Munez. Batting seventh in left field, number 14, Danny Klein. Batting eighth, at third base, number 11, Emma James. And batting ninth, the right fielder, number 31, Miranda Lamunyan. Pitching for the Pirates, number nine, Dakota Rao. Now let's meet the starters for the Pioneers. Leading off in center field, a senior from Brighton, Colorado, number 19, Cordelia Hanger. Batting second, the left fielder, a junior from Louisville, Texas, number 24, Maddie Brooks. Batting third, in right field, a senior from Topeka, Kansas, number one, Naya Brown. Batting fourth, at second base, a sophomore from Webster City, Iowa, number 20, Kelly Stokes. Batting fifth, at first base, a sophomore from Barrington, Kansas, number 22, Abby Schulte. Batting sixth, playing third base, a junior from Lawrence, Kansas, number 10, Robin Todd. Batting seventh and catching, a junior from Odessa, Missouri, number 25, Allie Van Lanker. Batting eight, designated player, a sophomore from Platteville, Colorado, number four, Maddie Gallivan. And batting ninth, the shortstop, a senior from Atchison, Kansas, number six, Des Duncan. Pitching for the Pioneers, a sophomore from Prosper, Texas, number seven, Grace Burlidge. The Pioneers are coached by Jennifer Telvis in her second season. She's assisted by Nikos Kalahoris, Judy Dugan, and Steve Field. Their manager is Rachel Habel. Fans, please stand. Gentlemen, please remove your hats or render a salute if you are a veteran of military service as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Today's umpires, Monty McGinnis and Clarissa McElroy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid-American Nazarene University, Williams Field, for today's Heart of America Athletic Conference doubleheader between the MNU Pioneers and the Park University Pirates. 
I'm MNU Sports Information Director Chad Jenkins. I'll be bringing you the action today. Doing the live stats, switching between cameras one, two, and three as we're getting that set up. <coughs> the defense for the Pioneers, who are coached by Jen Felvis and have a record of 18 and 14 overall, five and three in the conference. Grace Burledge in the circle, Allie Van Lanker behind the plate, Abby Schulte at first, Kelly Stokes at second, Robin Todd at third, Des Duncan at short, Maddie Brooks in left, Cordelia Hanger in center, Naya Brown in right, the DP is Maddie Gallivan. Leading off for the Pirates and taking strike one is Riffer. Caroline Riffer hitting 325, started all 24 games. Park is 12 and 12, overall 2 and 6 in the heart. Swings through that one 0 and 2. She has three triples and three RBIs. 24 for 25 stealing bases. Their version of Cordelia Hanger. That misses up one and two. That misses out two and two. Burlidge on the season. Is five and one. This is her eighth start. She has a one, two, three ERA. Forty-five and two-thirds innings pitched, thirty-four hits, thirty-one strikeouts. And opponents hitting two oh five against her. She's been excellent. There's a little pop up to that in second. Shortstop Duncan one. one away. Hallie McGee. Hallie McGee. One of their studs. Started all 24 games, hitting 375, leads the team. Eight doubles, leads the team by double the next per highest person. Four triples, that leads the team. Three homers, that's tied with two others. 19 RBIs leads the team. OPS 1154. If you're watching on the Heart Network, go to mnusports.com and find the YouTube link. And type into the chat box where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. And how many final four teams you got right in the men's tourney. I went over this year. A little grounder to short, Duncan. Two down. Pioneer baseball team is at William Penn today. Batting third, second base number 23, Shelby Sanders. MNU leads four to two early in that one. Shelby Sanders takes a strike. She's hitting 254. In 21 starts, two doubles, two triples, three homers, 11 RBIs. Foul. Yeah, Pioneers uh, wearing uh, pinstripe. It looks like it. it's our it's our red, which is a very pinkish red on the logo. Ooh. Tough take. 
uh, and the pinstripes make it even lighter. So it's this almost, of course, I don't know what colors anything are anyway, so it doesn't matter what I think, but it's like a pinkish red with the white pinstripes. The girls seem to be really excited about them. There was a picture taken before the game. I like them. Pretty cool. I just wish our red was a deeper red. That misses outside. Count runs full. Like you can see the red in the MNU logo behind home plate. on the pink side. Popped up. Naya Brown comes in from right field, makes the catch. A nice clean inning from Burledge. And we go to the bottom of the first. The Pirates in the top of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors. And after we'll one be right hit. back. Trying to focus and then keep it. I don't like it when it's focused on the net. But whatever, we got this angle anyway. <coughs> Cordelia Hanger. <coughs> I've been sick all week. This is actually my first day on campus this week. Dakota Rao in the circle for Park. Bunted foul. Hanger leads the team with a 360 average. 40 for 110. Three doubles, nine RBIs. Bunch through that one. Dakota Rao is five and five. This is her 11th start. She has a 245 ERA. 60 innings pitched, 63 hits, 31 strikeouts. Ooh. Wow, good take. Opponents hitting 266 against her, so not big strikeout numbers, but only four walks. She doesn't walk in. She relies on soft contact. Two and two. Stoinker towards first. Ooh, they flip it to second. That was the last option I would have come up with. Tag her out or beat her to the bag. Made a tough flip. Batting second, left field, number 24, Manny Brooks. Maddie Brooks takes ball one. This is her 11th start, hitting 375, 12 for 32, no extra base hits, one RBI. That's ripped up the middle. She's just really good at squaring up those little punchy, punchy hits like that. Like Cordelia Hanger, on the other hand, relies on hitting the top of the ball and just beating it out. I feel like Brooks relies on cutting the ball in half and hitting hard liners through that left side. Runner on first for Nia Brown. Takes strike one. Nia Brown hitting an even 300. 
33 for 110. Four doubles, 19 RBIs. Wind is blowing sort of across the field. That's into left field. That's down. Batting four, second base, number 20, <clears throat> Kelly Stokes. Kelly Stokes hitting 350, 36 for 103, three doubles, three homers, 21 RBIs. Called strike one. I think we can get rid of that thing. What's it do? What's its purpose? Coming from that way, grounded back to the circle. Off of her shins, that'll be a base hit. And the bases are loaded for Schulte. Ouch. Batting fifth, first base, number 22, Abby Schulte. Schulte hitting 324, 33 for 102. A team leading 11 doubles, one triple. A team leading four homers and 20 RBIs. Fouls off the first one, it's 0-1. So the wind is blowing from the left field into the right field corner. So it's kind of in our faces here a little bit. I don't think it will affect, like if you're gonna hit a homer to left, it's, it's gonna, the wind won't kill it. But if you hit a pop up to the left, you're not gonna get helped at all. Tapped, oh, just foul. That was an awkward little grounder. <clears throat> I will be clearing my throat and coughing a lot. That's been my week. That's into left field. That's going to, she caught it. So now they're going to step on third, and that's going to be a double play. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. I was screened from that, so I could... Well, that was obvious. The home plate umpire saw that. And Maddie Brooks took off early. So, golden opportunity for the Pioneers. In play, F7. Correctly, but it's not giving the left fielder an assist, so I would like to go back and change that. Second for the Pirates and batting four. Catcher number 13, Cal Day. But then it says out at home, which is silly, but whatever. 1 0 to Hallie Day. Sorry, Cal Day. Is it Callie? Did he say Callie? Just says Cal here on the sheet. Hitting 231, four doubles, two homers, 13 RBIs. 
I did a couple of part games at the Friends Tournament. Familiar with a handful of these. The 2-2 two -two. just misses outside on the changeup. Count runs full. That's crushed into deep left field. Down the line and up against the fence. Sliding into second with a double. I thought that was gone off the bat. Maybe the wind will play a factor. Batting fifth, first base, number 21, Chloe Gilbert. <coughs> Chloe Gilbert hitting 308. Started all 24 games. Right back through the middle. They hold the runner at third, and trouble a Bruin. First and third, nobody out. That's what I saw on the pronunciation guide. Or Munez. Munez, I think, is what they said. That's slashed into right field. Fair ball. Extra bases for Park. Here comes Day. The other runner held a third, and now we got shenanigans. Four. No one's looking. Great base running by the lead runner, frankly. It's got to be a triple. Batting seven, left field number 14, Danny Klein. I'll show you that whole sequence again. So the ball went into the right field corner. Danny Klein to the plate, grounded to third. Runner holds. I know Danny Klein from church. One out. Batting eight, third base, number 11, Emma James. Emma James hitting 239. So that base hit down the right field line, the trail runner, who was uh, Gilbert, little doinker towards second, only play is at first, three to nothing. I can't even Miranda describe plays Monday. before the next play is ready to go. Softball moves so quickly. Gilbert was being held at third, but the hitter, Muniz, was flying around second, going for a triple. The throw came into third. There should have been two runners there, but the lead runner, Gilbert, just took off. And 
Todd was receiving the throw and couldn't tell who was running where and just tried to make a play at third while the runner was shooting up the backside. So I want to... My regular listeners will know that I've been trying to get rid of this view all season, and I finally did try today. Give me that. I even got a ladder out. I was up here at 10 in the morning. You see that little pinched part of the net above the crossbar? That's a bungee cord pulling the net back to the post. Got her swinging. Big inning for Park as three runs come across. For the Pirates in the top of the second, three runs. Pioneers in a hole. So this view here, that's a bungee cord pinched on that net, pulling it close to the middle post. And I had a camera up there pointing through the net, and it was going to be an unobstructed view of the field for action shots. And uh, the camera just would not cooperate. It wasn't turning on. The power cord was messed up or something. So I get down off the ladder, bring it up here to the press box, plug it in, like, what's wrong with this thing, you know? And then it worked from the press box. I'm like, okay. So then I climbed back up the ladder, hooked it all back up. No, it wouldn't power on. Brought it back to the press box. Tried it again, nothing. It was just teasing me all morning. But for those of you who are aware of my quest this season, I have been thwarted once again. Robin Todd leading off the top of the second. Oh, let me show you this play. Yeah, I, don't, I have time. I'll show you in a second. Robin Todd hitting 263. Four doubles, a homer, 16 RBIs. That's into center field very deep. Off the base of the fence. And Robin Todd leads off with a ringing double to center field. All right, I'm going to show you that play again while I enter this. Watch the base running. Batting seven, catcher number 25, Allie Van Lanker. Allie Van Lanker. Bunts. Foul. Nobody touched it. Ellie Van Laker hitting 301, started all 30, or started 31 games. Six doubles, a triple, two homers, 14 RBIs. Wind is blowing straight in at the moment. That misses up, one and one. That's into right field and deep. Over the head of the park right fielder. Robin Todd being waved home. They have a play on her if they knew about it, but they didn't. As Todd was tagging up with nobody out, that's the right decision. Back-to-back -back doubles puts the Pioneers on the scoreboard. Hitting 333, 8 for 24. This is her eighth start. Two doubles, a triple, no homers, two RBIs. And that's a little flare into right field. That's down. Van Linker heads to third, and she will be held there. Pioneers cooking now, first and third, and nobody out. Duncan. 
The nine hole, Des Duncan. Hitting 340. Little grounder to short. And no one can move up because Van Linker had to hold one out. Cordelia Hanger. Cordelia Hanger, she's 0 for 1. Came in hitting 360. Top of the order. Gets the bunt down. Didn't have really much of a chance anywhere, and the bases are loaded. I don't think she had a play at first. Base hit. Now Maddie Brooks. A base running blunder in the first. Cost the Pioneers one run. She'll knock in a couple right here, though. Right through the middle. And this is away. 1-0. Little grounder to short. They come home. Two down. Right field number one, Naya Brown. Naya Brown, bases loaded, two outs, get down. Big hit down the left field line. Here comes Duncan, here comes Hanger. Brooks stopped the third, big hit. We are tied at three. Stokes now. Fouled away. Two and two. Anybody in the chat? Nope. Stays alive. Between innings, I'm going to focus up this camera too better. Uh, so just bear with me as that's going to be waving around and I need it on the big screen. I can't just do it in preview. Kelly Stokes is going to drive in two with a rocket to left center right here. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on.
Another 2-2. Two, two. Good, tough take. Bases. First base number 22, Abby Schulte. This is Schulte's second at bat with the bases loaded. First time was in the first inning. She lined out the left. Takes strike one. Schulte needs to drop a bomb. She was super hot at the beginning of the year. She's tailed off slightly. Feel like she needs a big jolt. I'm <coughs> just screaming to your microphone. The 0 2. Little pop, shortstop. Caroline Swiffer. Back to the top of the order for Park. Caroline Riffer takes the ball. Two and oh. Two balls, one strike. Burledge fires. Ooh, that guy was not paying attention. He was looking at the previous foul ball. That one's not a danger, sir. That missed him by a foot. It hit his umbrella. The 2-2. Two -two. the middle and the speedster is aboard with the fleet off base hit short stop number one Hallie McGee Hallie McGee will probably square around let it go and let Riffer try to steal See if Van Laker can show off that cannon. Oh, 
all the things happened except for the throw out. Up the middle, Hangard. Catches that on the line. That was a missile. One away. Second base, number 23, Shelby Sanders. Into left field, base hit. They're going to hold her at third. And more traffic for the Pirates. Yeah, turn number 13, Cal Day. Four hole, Cal Day. She hit one to the fence her first time up. Takes strike one. And she scored last inning. Squares to bunt, and they steal second. Sorry. Two balls, one strike, one out. Two runners in scoring position to the four hole. A walk here isn't the worst thing in the world. strike two. You don't have to throw a strike here. You can be as nasty as you want. Strike three. Big out. That looked a little off the plate. He has not been giving that. All game, he gave it there in a big spot. <laughs> Slashed foul. has only given up eight earned runs on the season coming into this. Three in the second inning. block by Van Lanker. Three and one. Same situation as the last batter. You don't have to throw a cookie here. And Buster in. Go up. Doesn't matter if you miss. 
Ooh, right back over the plate. Got away with one there. Pioneers get out of it. Base number 10, Robin Todd. Robin Todd leads off. Six hole, six, seven, eight, due up for the Pioneers. Todd uh, doubled off the center field fence her first time up. Rip down the left field line, get past her. She's headed to second. It's going to be a play, not really. Two doubles for Rob and Todd. And the go-ahead run is in scoring position with nobody out. Van Lanker doubled home Todd in the second inning. The L1, this is outside, one on one. Three and one. Into center field. Not deep enough to advance Todd. One away. Designated player number four, Manny Gallivan. Maddie Gallivan. Gallivan's one for one. Tap her back to the circle. Two down. Des Duncan. Number six. Des Duncan. She's 0 for 1 with a run scored.
Gets a bunt down. Oh, you got a score on that. I don't understand that. They're not going to throw you out at home. Center field number 19, Cordelia Hanger. I mean, they could. I, guess, I don't know. It's, it's a thing. It's been a frustration of mine, but I don't know what I'm talking about. It's the exact same thing. We have two base hits with a runner at third, and she's still standing there. Now she would have been out on that one, so that's the that's the that's the problem. It's, it's just a weird play. Field number 24, Maddie Brooks. Maddie Brooks now. It's just such a foreign concept for me as a baseball guy with a baseball mind that you're not automatically going on contact with two outs. But it does make sense. Depending on the type of bunt, I think she scores on the first one. The second one would have been an easy play on her, so... Just strange. I'm not just. I'm just not used to it. Lead off double, a couple of outs, and then a couple of bunt hits. There's a little tapper. Love how they make that call from deep short. But man. Six, seven, eight do up for the Pirates. Five, five, eight, for the Pirates. Munez. Munez. She had the two run triple in the second inning. Called strike one. I guess what it comes down to when we're talking about the bunt strategy with runners on third and two outs. If you're not going to try to score on bunts, then then don't bunt with two outs. You gotta knock it through the infield. Especially I mean we, we had a runner at third with two outs. We had two consecutive base hits and did not score. That is just bizarre. Into right field, Naya Brown is right there. That brings up Danny Klein. Klein hitting 148 with a double and five RBIs. Danny Klein. Hey, she was all conference in the past, I thought. Hasn't gotten it going yet this season. Back to the circle. Danny Klein, uh, I know her from church because I helped out with the junior high 
group at church one Sunday, and she was one of the interns, the college interns that the church works with the youth groups and whatnot. And we were all going around introducing ourselves, and she's like, I'm Danny Klein, I go to Park University, I play softball. And I'm like, I should know you then. She's been around for several years. I'm pretty sure she's a senior. Good player. And nothing but praise from anybody I've talked to. Like, what's up with Danny Klein? And like, oh, great kid, you know. Part of the Association of Student Athletes. They don't ask knuckleheads to be part of that. Gets good grades. <clears throat> Helps out a church. I mean, come on. What do you want? I got two junior hires, middle schoolers. They're called around here. Grounded to third, Todd. Three, four, five, do up for the Pioneers when we come back. Number one, Nia Brown. Nia Brown is two for two with two RBIs. Nia Brown feeling spicy up there, attacking everything. Gets a good change up from Rao, and it's 0 and 1. 11 hits for the Pioneers. But we've left a lot of runners on the bases. Grounded to third. Another good piece from Brown, but right into the glove of James, and it's one away. Number 20, Kelly Stokes. Kelly Stokes, the four hole. Fouled away, 0 and 1. Stokes is one for one with a walk. Out two and one. Tap foul. Nah, it was twenty it was twenty seven to eight. <laughs> that was like game three and he he like and, Well, eight's not bad. 
Rounded to second. Two down for Schulte. Schulte's batted with the bases loaded a couple times. Maybe with the bases empty, she'll get something better to hit. First base, number 22, Abby Schulte. A line out and a pop out for Schulte. And really chasing lately. That's the thing. You start the year with a few homers and people start pitching more carefully to you. You get a little more frustrated. Open your zone a little bit. You start swinging your pitches out of the zone. Nice take. And then suddenly you have like a, you know, a one for ten stretch and you start getting anxious and swinging more early and it just snowballs on you. so hard to stay with that good approach that she had when you've become the folk she I think she was the focus of our lineup after the first couple weeks grounded to third she'll be back and so will we for the pioneers in the bottom of the fourth top five no run The Heart Network. Just announced two new members joining the conference. Called strike one to Lemunyan. I don't think I've said her name. I didn't announce her. Miranda Lemunyan hitting 222, three doubles, two RBIs. William Woods and Missouri Baptist have joined the heart. Starting when? In the fall? Does William Woods have football? Called strike two. We need esports. I would like it. I would have played. What, esports? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of people that would play. That's into center field and deep. Hanger going back to the track. Up against the fence. Lemunion. Oh. Toast at second is Hanger hoses her. Duncan. Center field number 17. Here it is again. Nice. Two down. So what this says is both schools are set to bring their affiliate membership sports 
which is the conference, conference sponsors championships for the upcoming Shirt 2024 stop, number one, Hallie McGee. Uh, Are we already, is 24-25 next year? Yeah. Doesn't that seem like so far away? Wow. June seems like so far away. 2025. So they'll bring their sports to the conference in 2024-2025, but they're officially joining. Grounded to deep short. 2025-2026 academic year is what it says. Base hit. Second base, number 23, Shelby Sanders. McGee reaches in an infield single, and that brings up Shelby Sanders, the three hole. Called strike one. into center field up against the fence they're going to have to get this in to prevent the tying run from scoring Stokes to the plate safe Park takes the lead two quick outs and then an infield single and then a rocket double and it's four to three Day to the plate in the four hole. So from what, I'm, from what I've read, it seems like only certain sports will join next year, but then they'll fully join in the 2025, 2026 year. That's a strike. William Woods out of Fulton, Missouri will join the conference next year. Missouri Baptist in, uh, where's Missouri Baptist officially? Are they St. Louis? Yeah. Yes. They're in uh, in the city? It's not some, yeah, okay, St. Louis. Grounded to third. Todd closes the inning. Pioneers trail, however. Up in Oskaloosa. Dio just went deep. One run on three hits. No errors. One runner left. And after four and a half innings, Pirates four, and Pioneers three. A score update from Oskaloosa, Iowa, in the first game of baseball. The Pioneers lead William Penn 11 to three in the sixth inning. <coughs> Pioneers have blown that one open 11 to three in the sixth inning. I just flipped it to there, and Dio was running the bases after a three-run shot. This Pioneer team is really something. Don't even have our one of our best guys. He's sick today. And his replacement has been on a couple times and we have eleven runs and it's like you're fine, go ahead and be sick. We can we'll pick you up. Pioneers find themselves here trailing by one. In the bottom of the fifth, six, seven, eight. Todd has led off twice with a double. She's two for two.
Todd Van Lanker Gallivan. That's grounded into left field. She's seeing the ball well and smoking it. Get a start to keep it going. Van Lanker's one for two with an RBI double. Number 25, Allie Van Lanker. Grounded into left field, another base hit. Now I imagine we just bunt several times in a row here and see what happens. Bunt the runners over and then bunt to load the bases and no one scores and bunt again. I don't know. I don't know. That misses outside. Not, no sign of a bunt from Gallivan. Hangry it doesn't bunt with the bases loaded, so. That misses away, 2-0. Oh. Called strike. Gets her back in the count. It's two and one. This conference is expanding rapidly. Two and two. Is the conference split up east, west, or north, south right now? The 2-2. Two, two. Oh, this is full count. Let me have a look. It's changed since I've been here. Full count. Nobody out. Two on. Oh, a nasty changeup. Swings through that one. Or something off speed. Big first out. Now Des Duncan. Duncan's one for two. Duncan batting right-handed now. <coughs> Little pop. They didn't call infield fly. They should have. Two down. We need a base hit into the outfield from Hanger here. She is two for three with a run scored. Called strike one. Looked like a strike from here. Goes the Pioneers' way, and it's one on one. <laughs> Into the outfield. Todd rounds third, heads to the plate, the throw home offline, and the Pioneers have tied it. Hanger to the second, she's safe. Here comes Van Lanker. Pioneers take the lead. She didn't advance. Yeah. Right. That got away and then no one else advanced. Van Lanker advanced on the throw. She was coming anyway.
Left field number 24. Right, I'm going to play that for you again because that was chaos. Fulton. All right. Into left field. All right, let me see if I can justify this scoring decision here. I called this, first of all, I called it a single. Two runs, so three hits. No errors, one run or left. Yeah, that's just buyer. RBI as Todd scores. Van Lanker heads to third. Hanger heads to second, and then Van Lanker just keeps trucking. Bad decision from the catcher day there. I think he just let Hanger have that. But there was an opportunity to end the inning. Pioneers take the lead, five to four, over at baseball. It's eleven to three in the seventh. Pioneers looking good in that one. Off the top of the sixth for the Pirates. First base, number 21, Chloe Gilbert. Top of the sixth. Gilbert grounds today, plays the tough hop. She's really solid over there. I like her. Really nice shortstop. Five, Mia Munoz. Munoz, the six hole. Called strike one. Do you need my glove again? I don't know where it is. Is it still up there? Outside, one on one. One and two. Little tapper, Burlage. Two down. She's probably more comfortable throwing it underhand. She might just throw a little Left field, slider over to first 14, base. Danny Klein. Danny Klein into left field. Drops in front of Brooks, and it's a two-out knock. Started innocently like that last inning as well. Number four, Paige McFeeders. Paige McFeeders hitting 250. She's six for 24, does have a homer, three RBIs. Called strike one. 
Klein over at first has one steal and one attempt. <clears throat> See, I think our outfield is a little too shallow. That's how they got burned last inning. You can play deep here. Big swing and a miss on a changeup. It's one and two. There's just plenty of room to split a gap with these shallow outfielders, and you can score from first on that. The one, two. Called strike three. Got her looking. Pioneers go to the bottom of the sixth. For the Pirates in the top of the sixth, no runs on one hit. Leading by no one. Runners, one runner left. And after. Leading off the bottom of the sixth, the Pioneers. 3-4-5 do up for the Pioneers. Brown, Stokes, and Schulte. Takes strike one. To your right center. One away. Second base, number 20, Kelly Stokes. Kelly Stokes now is one for two of the walk. Stokes seems to be in a similar spot as Schulte, just a little bit off uh, off rhythm. It's not seeing it as well as normal. Flares that one down the left field line. Nobody can get there. Use it. The 0-2, that's crushed to center field. That's a good piece right there, though. It could get you going. First base, number 22, Maddie Schulting. Abby wears a tutu. Softly towards short. We go to the seventh. 
Pioneers looking to maintain this one run lead. Mandy Brown in to close this one out. Leading off the top of the seventh for the Pirates. She is right field, number 31, two and Miranda two Lombardian. in eight appearances. She has four starts. She has a 3-2-7 ERA, one save, 40 and two-thirds innings pitched. Strike one to the nine hole Lemunyan. 40 and two-thirds innings pitched, 32 strikeouts, sorry, 32 hits, 30 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 215 against her. Ouch. 0 oh 2. Popped up. Foul territory out of play. And it misses in one and two. To center field and deep. Back to the fence. Off of the glove of Hanger as she crashes into the fence. Lead off double. Lemunyan's got a couple of those. Tying run at second. Nobody out for the top of the order. Hanger had a chance at that, but it would have been a spectacular catch. Now Riffer, the speedster. The Pioneers trying to keep this run from scoring. Definitely bunting here. Bunts to third. One away. Shortstop, number one, Allie McGee. Allie McGee, the two hole. The infield should be in. Little pop-up, huge out. Swing. Just chewed up McGee. Now Sanders. Sanders is two for three. This is way outside. One and zero. I don't hate this strategy at all. Two doubles, two triples, three homers for Sanders. But 
Only hitting 254. A couple of hits today, though. Called strike one. Into center field, not deep. Hanger. Ball game. Nice win. It's just a good game right there is what that was. That'll be it. We'll be back in a half hour for game two. Thanks for watching. Game two should begin in approximately 25 minutes.